hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be talking about the new passport automation process that is how to get the new nigerian passport through the automation process is that your renewal or you're doing a new passport and what are the challenges have we gone from bad to worse let's get into it hey guys so when i got this is my own international passport when i got mine that was about 2020 in 21 that's when i got my own international passport you can see i needed it to verify my google adsense for my blog and I had, in 2021 when i got my passport then i still felt the process was a little bit um easy in a way because i registered my own passport online myself before i now got someone who referred me to somebody to make it easier for sure because i really needed it urgently and i got it on that one week so then when the lady was trying to do the registration for me and complete the payment and all that she discovered that i was supposed to register because the process has gradually become automated we're trying to go digital in nigeria so i registered under um, new international passport so they had to use my information that i use for the new one to re-register me under uh, renewal because my passport was supposed to be renewed and that's how i would have lost money if i had gone ahead and paid money on that new instead of renewal so imagine all this process and now we are decided to go automated though some people have successfully done their passport then after registering they were able to make payment and it went smoothly for them but that is my own scenario now we have gone automated and the automation started late last year and they're implementing already and you wonder why processes like this when it comes to something new you're supposed to give it time to implement and people will just settle in because the one thing human beings don't like is change and when change come to settle in won't be that easy but now now according to an article on this day life i just read it just seems as if we've gone from okay to worse <laughs> like the see the switch from okay to at least bad it's not even the now it's worse it is as if the thing that become more difficult to achieve because the automation process is not as easy as possible how, how would the, the the new process says that you should make sure the passports you are attaching because the new automation process after you do that pre-registration you'll be the one to upload your picture you'll be the one to make your payments then i think the last phase that you go to any office to do is do the last capturing and you get your passport which is a very sweet thing to a, a, a sweet initiative by the minister of interior however even the nis officers most of them are untrained on how this will work most of them are wondering what is happening i don't know the reason for all this automation the automation is even make it easier to get this passport quickly as possible if you go through the process but now there are challenges challenges everywhere one of the major challenges now is in the process when i actually got my own passport and the one that was going on you can either opt to go for five year validity or ten year validity it depends on your own pocket and what you can afford but now with the automation process the only validity available on the platform is ten year validity which costs about eighty five thousand naira imagine so if i cannot afford it five thousand means i can't get my international passport my yet but when i did my i did my passport around forty five for five thousand when it was just I think the number of leaves i have here is 25 leaves and it's five year validity and i did it for five thousand era so these prices are just the prices online that you are saying so if you cannot afford the the normal one is five but five years we're supposed to cost it at five thousand you will have to go for eighty five thousand so imagine people that are trying to just make sure they're able to afford this national problem. people that want to migrate to new places people that want to go for study and they are doing as much everything as possible to cut costs and you just took out five year validity from it and say you must go for 10 year validity like i don't understand who does that i just feel this process should be reviewed because you're supposed to allow those two options so people's funds we know that even the inflation now is there in the world cost of living now is high and you're still using the international passport it's people true. another challenge that we should also take into consideration for this new process is the fast internet access even in nis office there's so much complaint that the nis office is having challenges they have issues with power they have issues with internet access then the officers are still learning on the job and you're already trying to insert the process immediately you're supposed to allow them at least the officer should be trained 
on what to do though some of them are trained but the complaints <laughs> i will start the article on this day like the complaints that most of them don't even know what to do and when i say it's a good thing or a bad thing a good thing because there are less people going are able to successfully conclude it and go to the nif office to pick their passport why there are more people who really need to go back home go back to school go uh, go to where they stay abroad people that came for the holiday season they're having challenges to go back home just because of their national passport that needs renewal then if you do your international passport online and you're able to get someone that you know very well in the nis office you can help you fast track it and get it the so tracking is not really a bad thing especially if you can you have somebody close to you that can assist you but now you have to go through the process which is not a, an issue for me the issue i have is that these things are not working fine now one of the major problems that people are complaining about is on the website it is stated that the passport photograph you're supposed to attach should be icao standard passport normally if you go to the nis office they already know what icao is and they don't need to ask you all you have to do is you sit down and they will take your picture for capturing that's the first step but now you have to do it from the comfort of your home which is sweet but you don't even know what the meaning of icao icao standard means icao standard is more like something related to um it's an aviation term that means that your passport should be a certain way more like when you want to apply for government job and they tell you white background passports the width and this and all that so that's what ICO means so in this video I'll be telling you what ICO standard passport means it means that your passport has to be 35 millimeter wide 45 millimeter in height like <laughs> how do you get about doing all those calculations then your face should be 32 millimeter and 36 millimeter then your face should be 70 percent and 80 percent of the passport photograph so your face should show clearly and should cover 70 percent of the background and who would know that so we know many of us are we know this because um we are a little bit learned we have the internet we can just search what what the, what is ICAO but online really I don't know what ICAO is we need time to just gradually settle into this automation process and I, I also wish there will be a review of this process if we're going to do automation give two options at least I can choose to go for 25 for five years validity instead of 10 years validity and pay for what I can afford then when the five years expires then I go for another extra five years when must i have 10 years but it must i run out of the country <laughs> it's actually funny to me like where am i going to then i need 10 years validity passports really though for some people is a good innovation but it's not compulsory let that option be available so guys what do you think of the new international passport process is it getting better do you think it's good do you think it's go gone from bad to worse do you think <laughs> They should have just left it the way it is. It's already it is already digitalized in a way for us. So and that digitalization then it was good to actually avoid all those spelling errors and all that. But anyway, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to channel that time.